Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, we're going to have a play around with um, Court Farms, a map that I've been playing on for a little while now um, and really really like it actually. It's one of the only British maps that I can get on with. I'm not really a big fan of them myself, even though I am actually British. I do prefer a lot of the uh, larger scale maps, um, more open, just because of the stupid hedges really I guess. Um, but this particular map doesn't have um, that narrower roads and the hedges are non-collidable so tends to be a bit bit more um, user friendly or forgiving um, but reason why I'm doing this really is because I just watched a, a video by Mr Moose and he quite rightly pointed out that the uh, dairy cattle do not have any water uh, because the map creator for whatever reason and it's his choice obviously uh, decided not to put in um, the water mod uh, for uh, the dairy cattle so what I'm going to do is have a bit of a look around the farm um, uh, around the dairy area specifically and then we're going to have a look and see uh, if we can add in the water mod uh, so that we can actually give our dairy cattle water so what I'm going to do is open up our court farms 102 map in giant editor and then we will have a look around and see what we can see and we will go from there let's just give this a minute to open up a bit bigger and do that so we'll have a bit of a scan around if nobody's actually seen this map before this is what it looks like I quite like it actually um, I've made several changes but we won't get into those today. Uh, this is mainly just about the dairy cattle and giving them water. So we'll go over to um, where they are, if I can remember where they are. There we go. And one of the things I wanted to point out first of all actually is that, uh, again, from the video I just watched by Mr Moose, uh, he was actually struggling to find the tip trigger for these particular troughs here, the feeding troughs, to put in mixed rations. Now what I did actually find is the um, triggers are very very narrow, they're only just slightly wider than the, the actual feeding troughs. So if we click on there, straight away it actually brings up our, if we look in the cinegraph over here, it actually looks up brings up our straw tip trigger. So what we have to do is actually look in the cinegraph and click on the other um, troughs to get access to them. Uh, and you can actually see there, if I can get in close enough, there is the trigger. And it does actually span the complete length of the troughs. So what I've found is to get access to them you have to get whatever machinery you're using whether it be a tipper trailer or the feeding technology or whatever you have to get quite close to them for it to actually tip and work correctly what I also did find and one of the things that Mr Moose did come across was if you drive all the way down here and come to this area just here there is another trigger which is solely for um, just a feed trough trigger you can see it in the cinegraph there what that actually does is it links to this trough over here if I click over here and then click on the main um, trough you will see that both of them are linked so when you tip on this trigger it actually fills this trough I don't know why that was set up that way perhaps because it's very narrow and the access to this trough is quite limited uh, so it was done to make it slightly easier to gain access I personally would have put the trigger on the other side of the trough so that you could gain access through this field and come in over here and then tip into this side of the trough but you know again that's down to the map creator and not judging or anything um, it's his map he could do whatever he wants with it uh, but this is just really to show you some of the aspects of um, the triggers and if you're having difficulty gaining access to them they are there they are just very narrow so again if we click in the cinegraph over here you can see it does span the 
complete length of the troughs um, and you can see it is really narrow so it's just a case of getting your machinery as close as possible to the trough it will work I've tried it it does work so what we're going to do though is we're going to come away from that now and what I want to do is bring in um, a trough that will allow me to tip water into it simple as that but to do that I'm going to have to remove this particular trough because it's the only place really that's viable for me to put another one in um, which means I will lose this trigger over here uh, so you will then if you're using that one to fill up your troughs with whatever you will then be limited to using these ones over here again but like I said they do work so if this isn't something you want to um, get into or you feel that uh, you're just not going to be able to work with that setup and you just want to work with this one and you're happy with that then you know that's fine stop the video here and move on I guess um, but if you are like me and you want to play around a bit um, and this is not really the kind of setup that you like um, and you want to gain uh, full access to all of the different things that you can in you know farming sim and, and whatever then hopefully you'll continue to watch and you'll get something out of this so what I'm going to do is this particular trough over here again clicking the main trigger in the um, cinegraph is I'm just going to bury it I'm going to put it under the map I'm not going to delete it I'm just going to put it under the map and if we go under the map you can see I've moved it right the way down For ignore all the other stuff um, what we're concentrating on here is that trough and it's just so that if you feel that you want to put it back or you didn't like the change or whatever it, you haven't deleted anything it is there um, so yeah so what we're going to do now is we're just going to leave that as it is and I'm going to minimize this now I've got a pretty fairly uh, powerful computer you may not need you may not be able to do this like I am uh, you may need to close down that particular um, giant editor um, session and then open up another one like we're going to do here with the Manchester map and then close Manchester map and then reopen but hopefully um, you'll get the gist of it either way so we'll go into the Manchester map and this is version 4.0 with the soil mod but you can use any map that is set up for the water mod for the animals so I'm just going to open up that in Giants Editor and we'll give, us a, uh, give this a second now this particular map is um, very intense when it comes to graphical uh, textures and such forth so you may find this will uh, take a while to load so we'll just um, get that a little bit bigger um, it does tend to be a bit laggy when you first come in irregardless of whether you've got this open on its own or not it's just loading all the textures so I tend to just move around the map a little bit and, and let them load in uh, once we've get it s so it's settled we're going to come over to our water trough here and this is what we're looking for so if I click anywhere there uh, so that I can just highlight what I'm looking for uh, I can then narrow that down within my cinegraph to get exactly what it is I'm actually after and what I'm after is the water underscore cow this highlights the entire trigger the the trough the textures the the everything uh, you know all the bits and pieces that I need um, and that's what we're going to export so with the entire uh, setup highlighted in the cinegraph what we're going to do is go over to here and go file and then go export selection with files this is important you don't want to just export the selection because all you'll get is just the base textures you won't get anything else with the uh, export so we want all of the um, triggers we want everything to come out with it so we go export selection with files and I'm just going to basically create a new folder on my desktop here so we'll go new folder and I'm just going to call this um, water call it trough shall we so if we go water oops can't type trough cow and then we'll open this up
and then we'll just basically call the i3d the same as what it is on, on Manchester map just to keep it simple um, so again water underscore cow don't have to do this in with any capitals you can do it however you want I just tend to follow suit as it is there so it will save that and we're done with this particular map so we can actually now close this down no we don't want to save it but what I want to do now is find my newly created folder on my desktop and then I'm going to copy this into my court farms folder which I have open here now you don't want to put it in to the first folder that you come into it needs to go into the map subfolder once you're in here you can put it pretty much wherever you want so what I would do is find where the animals are so it keeps everything in the same sort of area it's not important you do that but it's just what I would do so we go into models then we can find our animals and we can then put it in there and I've done that by just um, copying it over with control C and then control V to paste it into that folder so once we're in here we can then now back go back into our court farms Giants editor session and we can then go into our file and import and just to make sure we are actually in the correct folder we'll go back to the desktop open up our court farms folder go into maps and then into models animals and then into our water trough cow and you can see it's, it says Manchester because that's where we got it from but it's not relevant you could rename that folder if you wanted to before you carry out this process so that it matches court farms entirely up to you I'm going to leave it as is so we'll just double click on this and before we go any further what I want to do is I want to bring this into the animals um, transform group so it keeps everything all together so I'm going to go control X to cut it then I'm going to go up to my animals and then I'm going to click on tip triggers and then go control V to paste that within the tip triggers transform group and as you can see it's brought it in at the bottom there and that's fine you can leave it there uh, if you wanted to move it anywhere just right click and go move up or move down to put it wherever you feel comfortable but I would just leave it where it is it works perfectly fine so once we've done this I would then say to just grab it and drag it wherever you want to put it. Now I'm going to put it where the other trough we buried under the map uh, was before. So I'm just going to bring that down, bring it over and put it somewhere where I like, I like it basically, just where, where I feel comfortable with it. So <clears throat> you may have to play around with this, you might have to put it into the game and then come back out and then readjust it uh, but that's uh, you know up to you entirely how you where, um, wanna, where you want to put it and aesthetically and all that sort of stuff but we'll just go with that because you know just doing a quick tutorial to show you how to do it not really worried about finesse and stuff what I would say is um, to rescale it slightly just so that it fits uh, slightly better between the two fence posts and we can do that over here in our uh, attributes section by going into the scaling of the uh, trough and we'll do that by clicking in the scale X and we'll just play around with numbers so if we go 0.5 that's way too small so we want it slightly bigger so we'll go 0.7 that might be a little bit better and we'll try and line it up best we can so we'll move around so it's still a little bit too small so now we just go 0.75 and move it around a bit more that's not too bad actually clipping that fence post there slightly so we might want to bring it back this way there we go Let me just have a look around, make sure it's, uh, you know, to our liking. Maybe bring it back just a little bit more. Again, you know, you can play around with this for hours just to get it exactly where you want it to be. But, uh, you know, that's 
do that in your own time sort of thing. So once we get it somewhere where we like it, we can click anywhere in the cinegraph to just deselect it. And I quite like that. That looks pretty good. I've got some grass coming through there, but you know, that's fine. So we've now got our trough in our map. And as you can see, when we go into it, luckily this is actually already the right um, rotational setup so that our trigger is on the side I would prefer it to be on. Because I want to do this where I can come in through this gate over here, come along the side of the field, if you follow my cursor there, and then come through this gate and then perhaps maybe reverse up to the trigger there. Or if you've got a small enough um, water trailer, you may be able to drive down uh, again, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So now we've got this where we want it, we're going to come out of this once we've saved it. And then we will have a look at s the scripts that make all this work. But before we do that, I just want to show you in the user attributes, all the bits and pieces that it shows us water is our field type it's an area trigger it's a farm trigger these are important and all the move um, axis where the water comes up when you put the water in and fill it um, and so on and, and this is the actual bit where it connects the trough with the water mod so if we actually scroll ac scroll across you can see that it's on create the water mod um, and that's the script that we're going to put into the folder to join it all together. So now that we've done that, we'll just deselect it again and we'll save. Just give this a second to save, or two, <laughs> or three. Can take a little while sometimes. So, okay, we're now. Um, ready to close this down and then have a play around with some scripts. So we'll just shut that down. Now what we need to do is come back into our main folder for the court farms and we need to then go into our map and find our scripts folder. And as you can see there's no water mod script in here. This is where we go back to our donor map if you like. Again I'm using Manchester, you can use whatever map you have got handy or any map that's got this particular um, script and mod set up. So we'll go into map and then scripts and we can see how we've got our water mod lure for our, our script is there. So we're just going to right click, drag it across and copy and there we are. Now what I would do is again just for speed and ease and whatever else see how it's set up in the donor map that you're using, the map that you're taking all this from. So if we go into our um, mod desk XML uh, by right clicking and going to um, Notepad++, you can see that it's actually um, the external source file is set up under map scripts auto mod. Now luckily for us, that's exactly where we've placed it on our court farms map. So I can just highlight this and go Control C to copy. And then I can come over into our core farms and go back to our mod desk XML, open this up, and then create a new line, paste it in, and we're done because it's all in the same place as it was for Manchester, so there's no extra bits and pieces we have to put in, which is great. So we can save this and close that down, close that down because I no longer need it. And yeah, that's it. We're 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 done. It's all up and ready to be zipped and put in our mod folder and rock and roll. So I'm just going to edit that. Sorry, I'm not going to edit that. I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to add it to my court farms uh, zip. And we'll just uh, give that a minute or two to. Uh, do its thing. So 
this can take you know some time if you've got a lot of stuff on the map that you're trying to compress other ones will do really really quickly just be a bit patient and let it do its thing okay so now we've got that what I want to do is now put that into my mods folder but I've already got various different um, maps in my mod folder so I'm going to create a new folder just to put this into it so if I go into my documents uh, my games farm and sim I can I've already got as you can see various different maps um, so I don't want to really interfere with any of those so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and copy that and then I'm going to rename this like so so it doesn't interfere with any of that stuff then I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that mods then I'm going to select my newly created zip and control X to cut go into my newly created mod folder and plonk it in there like that there we go with control V to paste it so we can close that there's my mod folder with our edited court farms mapping and we can then go into the game I'm going to have to bit of play around a little bit um, with certain things um, to show you how all this works so what I'll do is I'm just going to pause the video there and then I'll get this all set up and we'll be back okay so we are back and we are now over by the uh, dairy cows and I've bought a couple of things here just to get some water to put into the trough so we'll just start this up and conveniently there is a water pickup cell point whatever just here so we'll grab some water fine just to, uh, enough to show you what how that it does actually work so like I said before I've um, positioned it um, so that um, I can come in through this part of the field and then come up round here jump out open up the gate here if it opens there we go and we'll just come in quite a lot of room to be fair so can actually just drive straight down here like so and then we just reverse up to the trough that we put in and we get our trigger as you can see here and we'll tip now I haven't got any cows so it says uh, maximum capacity so we need to buy some cows so we'll just go over here and we'll buy some cows. If you've got any flashing issues, epilepsy, look away. We'll get a fair few. Just so it takes all of the water, which it should do. Come out of that, then we'll go again. We jump out. You can see it filling up. Now the PDA mods installed, so if we go into our animals and we go around to our cows, we can see water fill level is increasing. So yeah, awesome. All works. And the level obviously will adjust uh, on how many cows you have. The uh, more you purchase, the more water required. But yeah, so you can see, let's get that out of the way it's got all the correct textures you can see the water in the trough even if we go into our main menu we go across to our cows you can see that it's actually added it in water is 6613 which is what we put in so yeah everything is all there it's joined up it's all working awesome there we go done 
hope this helps uh, give it a try that's all I can say you may find that um, you might need to adjust your um, um, oh, what do they call it oh, nav mesh brain freeze uh, your cows may tend to walk around um, walk through the trough they may not uh, you can always look in uh, Giant Sedator uh, where the um, nav mesh is if you know how to do that if not again like I said before you may have to play around with the trough and move it to suit but uh, I've never had any issues um, they you know I've done this a couple of times now and they move around it quite freely as long as you put it somewhere roughly where the other one was you should be fine okay there we go hope that helps again as I said thanks very much for watching bye for now